Hello everybody, this is Miss Broad and this is your English starter for Monday the 8th of February. So there is another lesson to do after this. This is just your starting lesson. And in this starter, we are learning to write coat hanger letters. Letters such as C, O and A. Now we're only going to do these three today. We're going to look at the others another day. Okay, so today we are looking at C, O and A, which make the K, O and A sound. Now, there are, these letters all have something in common. There's something the same about all of these letters. Can you guess what is the same? That's right, they're all curly letters, so they curl around. But there's something else that's the same about them. Well, they all start at the top of the letter and they always curl this way around. So they always go anti-clockwise round, okay? They never go this way and they never start at the bottom. So they sit on the line and we, don't, we never start down here. We always start up at the top. Now, as always with handwriting, before you get started, I'd like you to do a few exercises to warm up your fingers. Now, you can use Play-Doh for this, or you can do it just like I'm doing it with your hand. Because I'm holding my camera, I can only do it one-handed, but you can do it with both hands to warm up both of your hands for handwriting. Okay, so you can do um, whatever exercises you want to warm your hands up. You can do some of the ones that we do in school. And you can do it for as long as you think you need to. Maybe you could listen to some exciting, loud music to help you um, warm up your fingers. OK, so I'm just going to show you two ways that you could warm up your hands. The first one is squeeze and release. And you can do that a few times. And you can do it quicker like this or you can do it slowly like this. And the other one that we sometimes use in school is the pinching one where you pinch each finger and I'm going to do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and I'm going to come back. Okay, once your fingers are warmed up, you are ready to get started and you will need some lined paper for this. So you could use your homework books and preferably a pencil because our handwriting is always neater when we use a pencil, okay? So I'm going to be showing you how to write these letters on the handwriting sheet that we use in school to show you where to sit the letters, but you can do it in your homework books, okay? So we're going to start with the first coat hanger letter, which is the letter C. Now remember, these letters always start at the top of the black line and they always go around like this okay so let me show you you start here and you curl the letter round like this and can you see it's sitting on the line so we're going to do another one so start at the top curl around sitting it on the line and I've left a little finger space in between because if you do it right next to it it doesn't look quite as neat does it so make sure you leave a finger space okay so we're going to do one more I'm going to start here and oh you spotted I started at the bottom and we never start coat hanger letters at the bottom we always start at the top so we're going to curl it round like this. So that's your first letter. Now when you're writing it in your homework box, remember start by the margin. Now you have a line here and a line here when you're writing in your homework box. This line is a bit like the red line on the sheet I was using. So you've got to imagine that there's another line running through the middle. And so you start sort of halfway between both lines at the top of the letter and you curl round like this. 
and then you need a little finger space start at the top of the letter again and curl round sitting your letter C on the line now when you have done a few I'm just going to do three more I want you to look at them and just like we do in school pick your favorite one and I think my favorite one is this one here and I'm going to put a little dot underneath it now when you've done a line of C's I then want you to do a line of O's so you're going to again start at the top of your letter we're curling round the same as we did the C but this time instead of stopping here we're going to join it up so we're going to go round the orange just like that start at the top again round the orange okay so when you're putting it on here Again, you need to start sort of halfway between these two lines, near to the margin, and you're just going to start at the top and curl round the orange. And can you see, I'm taking my time. I'm not rushing, I'm not going like this and making silly mistakes. I'm really taking my time to make sure that my letters are perfect. And again, when you find your favorite one, you need to put a dot underneath it now this one and this one are no good so I'm not going to choose those they didn't start in the right place did they so I'm not choosing those ones I'm going to choose this one here and I'm going to put a dot underneath it to show that it's my favorite one my best one and the last letter we're going to do is the letter A so again it's exactly the same we're going to start at the top of the letter and we're going to curl around not this way round this way around and this letter is one that often people get wrong because sometimes they go this way around that's not right is it let's have a look that's what it should look like that one went the wrong way around didn't it so that one's not a good one and some children do this they go around the right way and then when they get to the top they take their pen off and then do this. That's not an A, is it? It looks like a capital Q. It's really important to get this one right, so watch carefully. Start at the top of the letter, curl round like an O, but when you get to the top, you come back down and you give it a little flick. So I didn't take my pen off at all, so we go around the apple, down the leaf. Around the apple, down the leaf okay so when you do it on your paper you need to start halfway between these two lines and you go around the apple oh oh you spotted I went the wrong way let me try again I'm going to start again under here get it the right way this time so I'm going to go around the apple down the leaf oh I went a little bit underneath the line there so it's not quite sitting on the line. So that's perhaps not my best one. So I'm going to try another one. So I'm going to go around the apple, down the leaf. Around the apple, down the leaf. And when you've done a row, so put a dot underneath your best one. Okay, everybody, good luck writing your coat hanger letters. And I'll see you again in a few moments for the second part of your English for today.